very close to the children. May 11th, accompanied by the Spirit. And they brought young children to him, that he should touch them, and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased, and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. Mark chapter 10 verses 13 to 16. God wants every child of tender age to be his child, to be adopted into his family. Young though they may be, the youth may be members of the household of faith, and have a most precious experience. They may have hearts that are tender and ready to receive impressions that will be lasting. They may have their hearts drawn out in confidence and love for Jesus, and live for the Savior. Christ will make them little missionaries. The whole current of their thoughts may be changed, so that sin will not appear a thing to be enjoyed, but to be hated and shunned. Small children, as well as those who are older, will be benefited by this instruction, and in thus simplifying the plan of salvation, the teachers will receive as great blessings as those who are taught. The Holy Spirit of God will impress the lessons upon the receptive minds of the children, that they may grasp the ideas of Bible truth in their simplicity. And the Lord will give an experience to these children in missionary lines. He will suggest to them lines of thought that even the teachers did not have. The children who are properly instructed will be witnesses for the truth. Counsels to parents, teachers, and students, 169, 170. Work as if you were working for your life to save children from being drowned in the polluting, corrupting influences of this life. Child Guidance, 309. A teacher should be employed who will educate the children in the truths of the Word of God, which are so essential for these last days, and which it is so important for them to understand. A great test is coming. It will be upon obedience or disobedience to the commandments of God. The Review and Herald, July 2, 1908.